para vocês que nunca viu o jacaré, Rio Nabilec, Pantanal, Mato Grosso do Sul, município de Corumbá. Para vocês que nunca viu o jacaré. Shalom, shalom, kahala, yahawa, bahashim, yahushai, bahashim, rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole folk like scattered abroad. Now, real quick, I want to touch on this video you see on the screen. It says, in Brazil, an invasion of crocodiles have that have flooded one of the beaches with several hundreds or even thousands, and the local population is panicking. Are the animals worried about something? A super volcano or an earthquake is preparing? Okay, and when you start seeing these animals act crazy like this or do weird stuff, that's when you know something is really coming, man. All right, these animals know something is coming. Okay, look at all these look at all these alligators just you know sitting on the beach, you know, and this is not natural. You know, you know, you know, this is not normal. This is not something you see every day. You know, this right here shows you that these animals, these they they, they know something, man. Okay, they know something. They can sense when um things are not right. Okay, when something is coming, and you see that all the time in the movies how before something happens like maybe a natural disaster or something you'll see all the animals fleeing in one direction well wherever you see the animals fleeing direction you see them fleeing to you should run in that same direction because that means something is coming from the other direction and the animals are usually the first ones that you know are um you you know that, that uh, pick up on it okay so what these gators are doing and there's other other animals that are doing a lot of you know weird stuff too but this just goes to show that something imminent you know is coming and uh, it's going to be bad, man. It's going to be bad. You know, who knows? You know, they might, they might, they might, they might have polluted the water, you know, to, to, to a, another de de degree. You know, it, uh, you, you, you just had an earthquake in Taiwan. And they're talking about a, a, a super tsunami coming, man. So, you know, the Lord is about to do some miraculous things in these end times. And these animals, they know, man. All right. So this is the book of Job, chapter 12, verse 6. It says, the tabernacles of robbers prosper. And they that provoke the Most High are secure. These these devils, they're in power. And who into whose hand the Most High bringeth abundantly. So right now the wicked is in power, it says. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee. And the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. So ask now the beasts and the, and the fowls of the air. The animals, man. And, and they'll tell you. You know, if you examine these animals. Scripture says, examine the ant, O sluggard. If you examine these animals, you're going to learn something, man. Okay, something ain't right. You also can learn what's food and what's not food by whether or not an animal will, will, will eat it. You know, you put certain foods in front of animals that we eat, the animal won't, won't even touch it, man. Okay, because it's, because it's you know, it's not food. It's, it's, it's pumped with chemicals and hormones and GMOs. Okay, and the animals can sense that and they won't eat it. Okay. It says, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea, they shall declare unto thee, okay, the, hey, you see the, you, and, and you see those crocodiles, okay, this is in Brazil, these crocodiles are lined up along the beach, you know, in hundreds of thousands, okay, they know something, it says, who knoweth not in all these that the hand of Yahweh hath wrought this, it was, this is all the, the Lord doing this, man. Okay, this is the Lord doing this. In whose hand is every soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. So all these animals are, you know, everything, you know, anything that breathes, you know, anything on, on this earth. The Lord has a hand in it, man. Okay, he controls it. It says, doth not the ear try words and the mouth taste his meat when the ancient is with with the ancient is wisdom and length of days understanding okay that's the point uh let's go here all right 
Because the reason why this is happening is because the, the, the wicked is in power, man. The world the world is off balance. All right. It says, Job uh, jo 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right now, the, 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 the uh, wicked is in power. Okay, the wicked is in power, man. Okay, and the whole world is mourning. Let me see. Let me grab that. Because we, hey, hey, did I tell you? Oh yeah, humans are causing global warming and this, that, and third. Well, hey, humans ain't, you know, the whole world, you know, hey, especially us, Jakes, man, we ain't got no power over this stuff, man. You got these at least who have the the, the 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 abundance and the means to be able to fix these things. Do they fix them? No, they make them worse. They want to bring the population down. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. And even the animals, man, okay? Even even the animals. These animals know something is coming. These animals are preparing for all, for, for all hell to break loose. And, you know, really, you know, you should be getting your spirits right, too. You know, to the best of your ability, get your spirit right. For these times, that is coming. Okay, it's definitely coming. It says, um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. So the Lord is shortening these days for the elect's sake. And this kind of reminds me of, um, this kind of reminds me of, of, of um, Noah when he created the ark. The Lord put the spirit on the animals to just go right to the ark. You know, the particular animals to go to the ark. So Noah created the ark, and all of a sudden these animals just started showing up. You know, these animals started, you know, coming into the ark, and the Lord put a spirit on those animals to do that. The Lord put a spirit on those animals to, uh, um, you know, gather into that ark. But that's what the Lord is doing right now with these animals all over again. He, he, he might move these animals to a, another land coast, like you see right here, while he's destroying another land. Okay, or he's doing something in the water. You never know. But this right here is a sign that a imminent death and destruction is coming. And prepare your minds, repent, seek your help, you shall may be found, or you will be destroyed. Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Abad Babal. Shalom.